Hello, my name is Richard and I'm with the eGlass Iguri team. Welcome to the eGlass Fusion software tutorial. This video covers the key toolbar features of the eGlass Fusion software for Windows. If you're on a Mac computer, make sure to check out the Mac software tutorial video. Also make sure to check out our Chameleon tool video after this one. With the Chameleon tool, you can import digital media from outside eGlass Fusion and annotate under it. To start off, we need to first install eGlass Fusion. You can install the software from the eGlass Academy website at eglass.io forward slash academy. Then from there, simply select the version based on your computer. On Windows computers, there may be a pop-up during installation. If that's the case, simply press more info and install anyways. Don't worry, this software won't harm your computer at all. Now once your eGlass Fusion is installed, make sure your eGlass is connected to your computer and you're all ready to go. Now that you have both your eGlass connected to your computer and the software installed, let's launch eGlass Fusion. And when it opens, here's what you'll see. Hello there! So I've already adjusted my lighting and reflections, and if you want to see how to do that, please check out the eGlass Quick Start Guide. But let's start off with the main control toolbar, located here at the bottom of the screen. I won't be covering all of the features in this video, however I will cover all the most important ones to get you familiar with the software. Let's start off with the built-in recording tool. The record tool actually has a few functions, most notably however, are the camera record and screen record functions. Camera record records your eGlass Fusion screen, so any annotations, writing, digital media, etc. done on your software will all be recorded. To pause your recording, simply press the pause button. And when you're ready to unpause your video, just press pause again. To stop your recording, simply press record again and then press stop. From there, if you want to review your video, just press the thumbnail here on the left side of the toolbar. Next up is Screen Record. Screen Record will capture everything you see on your computer monitor, such as other programs, documents, and websites. And again, when you want to stop your recording, click Record followed by Stop Again. And you can still review your video by clicking this thumbnail. Along with record, there is also a snapshot tool located here in the middle of the toolbar. This feature does exactly what it sounds like. It will just take a snap of everything, including annotations on your screen, and save that image to your computer. As a quick side note, you can actually access all these tools on the eGlasses control panel. Along with your lighting camera controls, you'll find buttons for record, pause, stop, and snap. Keep in mind that when you press record, it will use the camera record function. You can use these tools in place of clicking the buttons in the software. Now let's pull up that last snapshot we took by clicking this thumbnail. You'll notice that it actually brings up our side-by-side -side mode. With side-by-side, -side, you can put up any previous snapshot you had taken and pin it to the left side of the screen. Then by clicking and dragging the arrow, you can also resize the window. This is an especially useful tool for teachers. They can write down notes, take a snapshot, and then use the side-by-side -side feature to pin those notes on the side as they move on to the next topic. To exit side-by-side -side mode, simply press the X at the top of the screen. You might have also noticed that the bar on the left that appears after you take a snapshot. This is called the archive bar. The archive bar is where all your recent snapshots and recordings will go. If you press any of the images here, it will automatically pull up side-by-side -side mode. If you click on a video recording, it will automatically pull up that video and play it back. If you click go to archive, it will actually open up a file manager, and you can see all your saved videos and snapshots. Let's go back and take a look at a few other things you can do with eGlass Fusion. Next up we have our slingshot mode. Let's open slingshot mode and see what it does. eGlass Fusion is immediately minimized and your desktop gets pulled up. Now what slingshot allows you to do is export images and pass snapshots from your eGlass camera and move it into an outside document. For example, I have a Microsoft Word document pulled up here. I can then press this arrow and open up my archive. Then I can click and drag my snapshot into this document and it will pop up like this. You can also click and drag your thumbnail and it will automatically take a snapshot of your camera and paste it here. Keep in mind though that this snapshot isn't safe. You can also even click this clipboard and copy your camera snapshot and you can paste it in that way. Exporting these images isn't limited to just Word docs. You can do the same thing everywhere. PDFs, emails, and PowerPoints are just a few examples. To exit Slingshot, just click the back arrow on the thumbnail. Here's a quick pro tip for you before we move on to the other tools. You can actually click pause outside of a recording. Doing this will freeze your screen. This can be used in situations where a teacher, for example, writes down a question, they can press pause, write the correct answer on the eGlass, and when they're ready, they can simply click the pause button again to unfreeze and the answers will appear. Let's now move on to the zoom tool. With this, you can zoom in and out of your eGlass camera by dragging the slider here. Another feature is the whiteboard feature. 
This pulls up a digital whiteboard, and if you want to see more, please see our whiteboard software tutorial video here at hovercam.com forward slash flex11. To exit whiteboard, just click this arrow in the corner of the screen. The last tools I'll cover here are under the view option menu. First off, you can rotate the camera 90 degrees in either direction, but the two most important features here are mirror and PMP. Because the eGlass camera automatically flips the camera image, if you ever wanted to show either a poster or a book, for example, the writing would appear backwards. A solution to this is by using mirror, which will unflip the camera image. However, keep in mind that when you are writing on eGlass, your writing will now look backwards. To flip the camera back, just press mirror again. Another way you can show real-world items, such as this book, is with PMP, otherwise known as picture-in-picture -picture mode. With picture-in-picture, -picture, you can actually use a second camera with your eGlass. Make sure another camera is connected to your computer, and then you can simply turn on PNP mode, and a window will open up in the corner of your screen, with that secondary camera's view. I can then resize my window by clicking and dragging in the corner, and I can also move the window around. Since I connected a document camera to my computer, instead of having to mirror my eGlass camera, I can just place whatever I want to show under my other camera. To exit PNP mode, just click the X. Your computer might have multiple camera inputs, and eGlass Fusion may not automatically select the one you want. So to change the setting, simply go into the settings menu and under the camera submenu, you'll find an option to switch the aux camera to whatever connected camera you would like. While we're here in the settings menu, we also cover a few important things that you may want to know about. Under the camera submenu, you'll also find settings to change the resolution and frame rate of the eGlass camera. Under scan and recording, you'll also find settings to change the output format of both your snapshots and video. Finally, under MISC, you'll be able to change the archive root folder of where all your snapshots and recordings will be saved, as well as the check for updates button. Go ahead and check for updates every once in a while to make sure your eGlass Fusion is up to date. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to check out our eGlass setup videos and other software tutorial videos located at eGlass.io forward slash academy or email us with any questions you might have at hey at eGlass.io.